Don't you wish when your cell phone battery was dying you could just bump it with your friends and they could transfer their power to your phone? That's exactly what happens when you're jump starting a car. You are taking the power from the live car and giving it juice to your car whose battery is dead. Almost every driver has the experience of their car not starting. So this is an emergency task that everyone should know how to do is jump starting their car. I don't want you to be afraid that you're going to electrocute yourself. They wouldn't sell jumper cables in stores if you could kill yourself doing this. It's just about understanding the proper sequence for applying your jumper cables. To do this, you're going to need another car with a live battery and jumper cables that are long enough to extend and reach both cars. Make sure the cars are as close as possible, but you do not want them to touch. You wanna to make sure everything is off on both cars. No running AC, no radios, no lights. Turn everything off because you want all the juice in the live battery to be going to the dead battery. Before you get started with jump starting the car, you need to understand a little bit about a battery. Batteries, just like the ones in your remote, have a plus and minus sign. On your car, you're going to see the plus usually has red cables or a red cap or red covering over it. This can be confusing because often in class we would get a red X with the pen if something was wrong. But this is the power or the plus or the positive side. So don't think negative because it's red. Think power, positive, plus. Often the battery will have a plus sign on it. Or like I said, red cables or red covering. So you know that this is the power side of the battery. Then you have the negative side, which is gonna have a negative symbol. It often has black wires or cables to it or a black covering over it. It's very important to know the plus and the minus sign and the colors because this is how we're going to connect our cables. We want to match the colors. So the red cable is going to go on the power plus red side of the battery and the black cable is always going to go on the negative ground black side of the battery. The first step when you're jump starting the car is starting red for dead. So we're gonna take the red cable and put it on the red or the power or the plus side of the dead battery. Next, you wanna take the other red cable and put it on the red or the plus or the positive side of the live battery. Your next step is to take the black cable and put it on the black or the negative or the ground side of the live battery. That last cable, you don't have to put on the negative ground or black side of the battery. You wanna put it on a metal ground, something off the engine or a nut that's not painted or coated. And that's gonna act as your ground. And we do it this way to prevent any damage to the good battery or any of the electronics on the good car. Now that we've got all of our cables hooked up, you wanna start the car on the live battery. Give it a light gas, press the gas lightly, not heavy like you're racing like Jeff Gordon. But what you're essentially doing is giving juice over to the dead battery so it can turn on. This may take anywhere from one to five minutes. It really depends on how dead the dead battery is, right? how much juice it has. It also depends on the, the quality of the jumper cables. Are they kind of cheap or really, really long? It's gonna take longer to get that juice to the dead battery. So be aware it could take anywhere from one, five, maybe even 10 minutes. You wanna start the dead car or the, the car with the dead battery after about a minute and see if it turns on. If it doesn't, that's okay. It still may need some juice. It still may need some time to get that power to start the car. If you start to hear the car going chug, 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 or slowly wanting to start, it's telling you, yes, I almost have my power, almost have the juice, keep going and wait until the car finally starts. So try it several times. You don't wanna try it every two seconds though because you could burn out your starter. So maybe once a minute, try to turn it on. If it doesn't turn on, wait another minute with the cars connected and try it again. Once the car is started, you feel good, you're happy, you're excited, you need to remove the jumper cables. And it's important to remove them in the opposite order that we put them on. So where are we starting? Right? We're starting with the dead battery, the black jumper cable that's on the metal ground. What's next? We go over to the live battery, and it's the black cable that we take off. Then we take off the red cable on the live battery. And lastly, we take off the red cable on the good battery. Where there is some concern about causing some spark or electricity is when 
the red cable and the black cable are connected to the live battery. That's where you can get some spark. But don't worry, it's not gonna cause a fire or an explosion. Often it's just telling you that the car is live. There's electricity that's active and that's a good thing. 